you know, like I say, you know, you never think it'll happen to you. A driver runs over a man who jumped onto Loop 410 to get away from police. As our Christina Coleman explains, that driver is worried about the man dying from his injuries, even though police say it's not his fault. Like that? Anthony Gibbons loves spending time with his grandchildren, but he says yesterday was the worst Father's Day he's ever experienced. And that's because he kept thinking about Saturday night's crash. Police say this man, 39-year-old Arturo Cardillo, jumped in the middle of Loop 410 near Fredericksburg Road to get away from police. Gibbons, who was driving a truck, didn't have time to stop. It's such a freak accident, you know. Uh, you see things on the news all the time, every day. And you don't think things like that come to you. Police say Cardio stole a cell phone at the Super Target in Balcones Heights, then ran from officers. They have him on security camera. As soon as my officer gave him a verbal order to come back and talk to him, he took off running. The passenger in Gibbons' truck had a chance to stare straight at Cardio before he was hit. He actually ran in the middle of our lane and stayed there. He didn't even get out the freeway. Leaving Gibbons. Because I seen his eyes and see mine. With a split second to make a life-changing decision. I didn't want to do this, go to the left, because everybody had a chain reaction with cars. So we swore we would have had a car pile up, could have been kids, something like that, so we didn't do that. Instead, Cardio was hit, and Gibbons was left worrying if he's going to survive. Because I don't want to feel like a killer, you know. Best thing to do if you're given a verbal command by any uniformed officer, just stop. Identify yourself, right? It's uh, much better, and consequences won't lead to what happened today in our situation. Um, and just kind of face, face what you've done. At Let's Check, Carrillo was listed in critical condition. He's accused of stealing a display phone that was easily under $500, which would have only left him with the charge of a Class B misdemeanor. Christina Coleman, Fox News at 9.